Hey guys, tonight's movie review is for Aloha, starring Bradley Cooper, Rachel McAdams, and Emma Stone. A little bit about this movie, or actually, I'll use the description Sony Pictures uses to describe this movie. Bradley Cooper is um, a former military man who now is a private contractor, and he comes back to Hawaii. Um, where he had some of his great achievements in the military and basically there's a watchdog that's been assigned to him to take care of him and make sure that he stays in line and that's Emma Stone's character who's kind of a woman who is rising up in the ranks in the military very promising and then he also runs into an old flame played by Rachel McAdams who still lives in Hawaii who has gone on after since they broke up broken up and gotten married and has several children and so he's dealing with that kind of lost love lost chance and also some budding feelings for Emma Stone's character it's pretty much how Sony Pictures describes it pretty much the only storyline in the movie that makes any sense because the rest of it really doesn't make any sense and is pretty pointless. Let me just go into the story now. Um, I mean, there's some sort of a storyline. Bradley Cooper's working for this very rich man who is involved in or interested in the space program, a, a private wealthy man who is extremely misused, misplayed by the fabulous Bill Murray. Um, but that part of the story is really hard to follow, doesn't really make sense at all, um, unfortunately, and so the only part of the storyline that really makes sense is this kind of love triangle between Bradley Cooper, Rachel McAdams, and Emma Stone. Um, and even that, unfortunately, um, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about any of the characters in this film, which is a real shame. Um, this is done by director Cameron Crowe, and he's known for having projects that are really centralized around the characters and around the relationship between characters, and that doesn't work at all in this movie. You really don't get a connection with any of the characters and don't really care about them, even though they are played to their best of the ability by Bradley Cooper, Rachel McAdams, and Emma Stone. You can tell they're really giving all that they have. It's just they're, the characters are flat. They're not well thought out. There aren't any emotional connection that you feel towards any of these people. And you just don't care, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, you've got a pretty landscape to look at, but that's about all you have here. I would have to give this movie, unfortunately, a D. It was very, very disappointing. Um, I really didn't enjoy it. The only shining light was just that you do have a cast of good actors who tried their very best for what they have. And that's the only reason I'm not giving this an F, because these are actors and actresses that I love and respect and I feel like they did give a valiant effort. They just unfortunately had pretty much nothing to back up what they were trying to do. So it's a D for tonight. Uh, I wouldn't see this. I don't think I'd even see it at the red box. Um, maybe if you could find it on cable for free. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked what you heard and you'd like to see more, I'd really appreciate it if you if you could subscribe below. Um, and I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks.